Hello, this is the first tutorial on GTK GIMP Toolkit and in this tutorial I will tell you a story about the GTK and the Toolkit and install it and maybe try to compile a Hello World program. Alright, uh, let's get started. Uh, what is GTK? Uh, with GTK you can create the uh, actual window, so uh, GUI, graphical user interface. Like as you can see, this terminal is uh, is actually a window, this is a window, so yeah, everything is a window here. Okay, uh, for uh, GTK was originally wrote for the GIMP application, you know, uh, here somewhere, gra graphics and GIMP so for the game and it grow over the game and actually it's one of the most popular uh, toolkit now so the entire GT uh, so the entire gnome desktop is written in GTK uh, if I wrong well or not but I think so okay and uh, XFCE desktop is written in GTK as well uh, KDE desktop as is written with QT, the other uh, toolkit, uh, important toolkit. This toolkit is uh, is uh, some toolkit for the uh, Xlib. So this is uh, Xlib. This is the smallest uh, level programming, uh, graphical programming, and uh, as I know, so. Yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, the base of the GTK and QT as well. Although Xlib doesn't contain things like buttons or widgets or uh, nothing. As, uh, actually, just you can create a window, you can draw to it if you want. And yeah, this is the Xlib. And the, the toolkits are make it easier. Okay. Uh, now if I uh, told you a story, now we should install it. So, uh, I recommend you use your favorite uh, package manager and you should, I use apt-get and you should install gt uh, lib gtk oh, uh, lib gtk uh, 2.0 uh, slash dev okay so we install a library called gtk 2.0 and we install the development okay if you download from the website the um, uh, advantage you may get is that you have a newer version because uh, the maybe this uh, uh, thing so the uh, repositories uh, I think okay uh, so the these packages are not uh, up to date in the server so yeah maybe we would uh, make it better if we will download from the GTK website so the gtk.org I believe oh but never mind this will work as well uh, maybe later we can uh, um update to that uh, and really it is uh, back it has backward compatibility in 2.0 but 2.0 is not compatible with 1.0 but uh, up to 2.0 uh, anything is compatible so yeah uh, it is uh, compatible okay uh, press enter just write the password and press yes and it will install it for us we don't have to care about the dependencies because uh, gtk has a bunch of dependencies like you have to install at key pango uh, uh, libpng and so on so yeah uh, if you have no really experience about compile from source or something then you shouldn't do that Although m there may be a binary version on the website, I don't really know. Uh, okay, 
so it is installed uh, one thing you may should install is the pkg uh, slash uh, not slash dash uh, config uh, I know that uh, Ubuntu and maybe other Debian based uh, 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 distribution installs this so pkg config okay uh, so if you n if this is not installed for you uh, use your favorite package manager to install it okay uh, and by the way I will show you what can we do with pkg config okay uh, we can get the flags and where the GTK is as you may remember we use the uh, dash l and curses for example with anchors library uh, we have to we ha should do same things with the um, GTK as well although it m it may be a little longer so GTK uh, plus uh, 2.0 and actually now we have to define what do we want after two dashes so we may want the libs okay check it as you can see it uh, use uh, this dash l g t k so yeah similarly than we did you remember just uh, without this program we have to manually type all of this so this is similar to the l and curses so it give the library uh, to the linker so it will we will not get linkage error and we can write the c flag the okay c flags will give uh, where the header file is I think so so yeah I don't really care about that just we have to use these two things to uh, make it okay uh, if you want to uh, go to this location and you will find what is there okay as you can see there is a lot of dependency uh, Cairo, Pango, Pixman, free type and so on as you can see okay uh, now to compile a program you use these uh, two methods okay now I think we will run out the uh, 15 minutes time but don't worry about that too much uh, I will port this uh, I will make this uh, video two part okay include the library for the gtk that is the gtk uh, slash gtk dot h okay and now uh, make the program the hello world program okay one thing you should do is to make the command line parameters so the arguments right here so int rgc and uh, char rgv okay simple enough we just make the command line parameters you should know what is it okay most of the time it will be uh, not useful because we don't give any command line parameter but the GTK require it so first thing you want to do uh, whenever you make a GTK program uh, is to call the GTK init function and pass the address of RGC and the rgv address okay without t okay and uh, the last thing you want to do is to call the gtk main um, of course you can return gtk main uh, will not require any parameters actually it is just a loop which goes until until we exit so with gtk main quit okay uh, now you can initialize the variables we initialize a gtk widget okay you should know about gtk that almost everything is gtk widget so for example this window is a gtk widget these images uh, probably gtk uh, uh, widget these tabs are gtk widgets and these menus are gtk widgets and all of the menu item is a gtk widget so almost everything is a gtk widget uh, actually the pointer because yeah we need a pointer okay and 
for now we just make a blank window which can be exited so we create a window to uh, actually just a variable which we call window but it can be a button uh, image and so on so it could be anything not matter what do we call right so we need to actually uh, make the window so make the window equal to gtk window window new okay this is the normal way to define uh, to create something uh, you put the gtk the name of what you want to create and the new usually that's the way you do things so you create uh, something for example uh, to make these tabs you use gtk node back uh, node back new node uh, notebook new okay uh, yeah so to create a button you use gtk but button new and yeah to create an entry field you use gtk entry new so yeah this is always the way to create something gtk and the name uh, of what you want to create and new by the way uh, you should uh, used to uh, so you should uh, uh, notice that uh, um, the gtk function have this line oh, uh, so every word okay in gtk everything is uh, every function is like that you uh, as you would say the function so it's pretty high level as you would say uh, something and uh, you use the and you use the, the instead of spaces the lines okay the gtk uh, window new requires one parameter this is what window do we want usually we want a top level window so gtk window top level okay this is just simple mean that we want a window uh, because the you may think that this button is a window as well so yeah this is uh, this is a window just oh to uh, wi window top level i want to write that okay um so this is a window this tab is a window uh, but a gdk window actually uh, so we have to define that it could be a child for example this uh, button is the child of this window okay this doesn't make sense may right now but later it will okay the next thing we want to do is to make the user so the user can exit with this x button right here as this x button will uh, don't do anything so we have to do that uh, as you the only way you can exit the program is to press ctrl c in the terminal so uh, terminate the process <coughs> 